All right, weird like mycelium on the ground here. That's the problem. I guess not. Ah, we sticky mold. I wonder if that would hold the entity back at all. I just need to, to unleash the army of Pikmin, basically. Alright, charging through this guy just, just kills him. Bear that in mind. All right, we need a pile of materials there. We'll let those guys build that and we'll head over this way. Poison mushrooms, I'm assuming. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Nope, well, there goes a few more Pikmin. How am I going to do this? I don't have any resistance to poison. I guess I can go around the other way. Hi there, friend. You want to blow yourself up? Big dummy says what? Should be the majority of it. Let's see what's over here. Wah! Look out. I heard the noise and I thought that the big old annoying guy was coming for me. Alright, that's quite a few things that need to be grabbed. Let me see if there's a... something I can do to shorten the distance. I don't think those bars can be removed there. I don't know what item... I'm assuming it's an item that I grab that's going to prompt the guy to spawn. I don't know if it's going to be the apple or the pear. I doubt it's this corpse. I'm going to guess it's the, like the, the pear. I'm going to save that pair for last because I'm pretty confident that that is what's going to prompt Mr. Smushy Smush to come through. Mr. Big Dummy Dumbhead. There's material over there. I can get, I can go there. I have exactly enough Pikmin to grab it too. Perfect. But it seems like they, I don't know, I didn't notice what the trigger was on the first floor, but it's felt like there's been a pretty clear trigger for the guy to spawn on every other floor. 
And since there's no castaway on this floor, I'm guessing it's a treasure. Because I was... Never mind, I just... He... Maybe time-based? Maybe progress-based? I don't know what the trigger was to spawn him here, but... I should have gotten that stupid pair. Well, let's go get it now. We have to take it, basically, across the whole map. Alright, that's being carried. We're going to escort this, and if we're lucky, maybe we just won't even see the guy. No! <laughs> Me and my big dummy dumb mouth. You guys are going to have to go a bit faster than that if you want to avoid him. Just, just pick up the speed a little bit. Because he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. I think they'll make it. And now they're on, they're on board. Treasure radar's done. We're out of here. Final floor where hopefully we can kill this guy. We'll see if we can collapse the dimensions or something. I don't freaking know in the final <laughs> in the final level here. Are those purple Pikmin? There must be a castaway nearby, he says. Alright, that's a bunch of Pikmin flowers. Purple Pikmin. Yep, there they are. The Chunky Boys. These Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let me check the voyage log. There may be a relevant entry. One purple Pikmin has the strength and weight of 10 regular Pikmin. What they lack in speed, they make up for in force. When they're th when thrown, their f impact is powerful enough to emit gravitational waves. They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. They're 10 times stronger than other Pikmin. How could they possess so much power? Well, it sounds like we can rely on them for some heavy lifting. We're gonna have to throw them on Mr. Chunky Boy. I don't know why I'm bothering with the blue Pikmin because the, the purple Pikmin alone are gonna be enough to collapse this bag. Hi there, friend. How's it going? It's a pleasure to see you. Well, He's flailing. All right, let's get everybody on Ochi, because this is chaos. Goodbye, Mr. Non-Entity Man. 
All right, let's let the blues handle this because <laughs> purple man is going to be a little slow. Wave Race. Nintendo for the Nintendo GameCube. Have I played any of the Wave Race games yet? I'm not sure I have. Keesh. Oh, that's another one of the missing students. A member of the Planetary Science Club at Aleon Academy who believes the stars are inextricably linked to the ore she collects. Hello? Aleon Academy. Planetary Science Club. Ah, she's one of the students traveling with that teacher. There's still maybe more of them out there. We need to keep searching. Okay, we got all my Pikmin. We got all... No, we didn't get all the treasure. Ah, there's more treasure. Is it buried in the back here? It's just a random uh, paint. Okay. <laughs> Wonder why that would have just randomly buried here. Now we have all the treasure. And this is why we always check the treasure radar before we go to the next floor. So they say that purple Pikmin can only be found underground. Does that mean they can't be taken out? Does that mean I can, I'll never find an onion for them? Investigation complete. The list of Pikmin here is looking kind of full. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find any more. The only one I know of is the white one. But I don't even know if they have white Pikmin in this game. There's poison, so actually there there should be white Pikmin, because white Pikmin were immune to poison. Excuse me. Right, so I still need to make sure that I open up whatever shortcut I can on this on this dungeon. I was right. It does come out the other side. All right. We're just gonna take you take out this. This works. Plastic bag, something. Yes, plastic bag. Get this down. All right. And this is where. Okay. Cool. This is right on the other side of my my base here. I should probably re move my base back over here. Okay, we got all we got all my Pikmin. We got everything. You're right. We are in we are in the Serene Shores. We just finished a dungeon where I was uh, getting chased the whole way through by a big old. Dummy dumb. <laughs> but I killed him. And even though the game was telling me to run away, I collected everything regardless. <laughs> I only lost maybe 10 Pikmin. It is a great game. I'm enjoying it. I just love all the Pikmin games in general. Usually I'm a bit behind, like when a game comes out, I usually don't touch it for like a number of years until I get it on sale or something. But this is one of the few game, like new games that I'm like, I, I got it and I'm playing it. Just because I want to show support for Pikmin. Make more Pikmin games, please. All right. It was a pretty uh, eventful day.
Oh, we got all the rubber duckies. Nice. Alright. I broke my record for 2,000 sparkly in one day. I got 2,600. Alright, we gotta read all the, all the names because this is one of the best parts of the game. Alright, we got... The Ring of Return Shield, Dapper Rubber Cutie, Rubber Cutie Series, The Nuto Light Shell, Mystery Squish Fish, Princess Pearl, Giant's Fossil, Hoop of Passion, Vanishing Cookie, Secured Satchel, Ice Sword, Juicy Gaggle, Crush Nugget, Daughter of the Earth, Child of the Earth, Memory Fragment Bottom, probably, Scaly Custard, weird. Turn of Events Track, Difficult Choice Totem, Insect Condo, Velvety Dream Drop, Glinty Circular Disc. Yes, I did kill the the non-existent entity is what it was called in the game. Did take him out. And Noble Goo. And then more nuggets. Jumped. Oof. The first day I did this, it only gave me 1%. Even though I got five treasures, it's like, nope, only 1%. Now I just jumped from 17 to 45. <laughs> I lost 25 blue Pikmin and 4 ice Pikmin. The ice Pikmin I can't replenish right now, which is kind of sad. I'd like to build up a large stock of medicine, so get back out there and explore tonight, New Blood. Hold on now, creatures are more active at night. We certainly don't want our Dan to suffer any injuries. Huh. Oh, don't you fret. What am I here for if not to heal those who put themselves needlessly at risk? I suppose he has a point. Just please be careful, Dan. Blues are sadly bad because they're weak. They are weak in terms of the damage, but their use for exploring the water is, uh, that's, that's their point. I don't have to worry about them drowning all the time, like every other Pikmin I have is always. Like, oh no, water, and then they start freaking out over nothing. It's like, just breathe, just learn to breathe water. It's not that hard. All the Pikmins have their use. We do have a new body. I think this is a pilot. Looks like it. Bernard! A veteran pilot who started in the private sector before joining the Rescue Corps. He's always brimming with optimism. We got them all. Now we just gotta get Olimar. We found and cured the pilot Bernard. The rescue corps has been reunited. No ball. Bernard, I'm pleased to see that you're back on your feet. Um, are you sure it's okay for you to be up and about already? Play it cool, Dingo. Play it cool. I appreciate your concern, Dingo, but I am good to go. It's strange. Since losing my leaves, I feel as light as a feather. Now the next time I get abandoned in a cave, I should be able to escape all on my own. Ha! <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh, so he is mad at me for running after all. Oh, nothing. Just a little joke. Good, good. Finally, all the members of the rescue corps are together again. I hereby reinstate our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar. Copy that. Wow, where'd they find a rookie like you? So unique! You must be the secret weapon the captain's been talking about. That ta been talking about, you woke up like 10 seconds ago, my guy. They're hated by Nintendo. Oh, I have seen that. The blue ones are always the ones that are like falling or getting attacked or something. I have noticed that. It wasn't blue. It's probably blue. Thank you very much for saving me. Excuse me, Captain. This may pertain to the subject of a certain Captain Olimar's whereabouts. I found a logbook entry that caught my interest. The last push. At long last, my goal to collect all lost SS dolphin parts is nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. Wait, could that mean... 
While searching using our newly restored radar, we received a very strong SOS signal from inside a large structure. It must be coming from Captain Olimar. On. Commendable work. As always, the rest is up to you, Dan and Ochi. Of course it is. Officers to your stations, please. It's sad like the color blue. Nice. Oh, why has Ochi got a leaf on his tail? Has Ochi's tail always been so green? No, it was a little puffball, like, like, like a little dandelion earlier. Alright, this guy's got a reward for me. Interesting. Your Dandori skills are becoming second nature. Damn straight! Get golden all battles. Yep. Don't worry, I will. Oh, gee. Hey, how you getting along with your buddy? Oh, is it because I just jumped off him? <laughs> hey, you're that rookie I've been hearing all about, right? Who am I thankful for you? I'm Bernard, pilot of the one and only SS Shepard, and I'm deeply pleased to meet you. I'm also relieved to see that you were just as bright as the cap said. Well, I had leaves on the brain. My head couldn't stop thinking about Dandori. So listen, I need your help. I need you to save everyone who got leafified like me. Seriously, every last one. Ugh, it's no small thing, I know, but there are rewards in it for you. Believe me, I've picked up a whole lot of raw materials. I mean it. I'm counting on you, okay? Good luck, rookie. Huh, you've rescued that many already. Nicely done, rookie. You're welcome. You certainly deserve that reward and more. Keep up the amazing work. You got it. Yeah, Ochi has not always had a leaf on his tail, and now I'm concerned. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. I'll take that. Thank you. There you are. The aforementioned token. Now he just wants more. My name's Quiche. I came to the planet on a field trip with my high school's planetary science club and wound up stranded. I'm grateful to you for rescuing me. Thank you. I was so happy to see Ms. Mika and Shiba from the planetary science club are okay. I guess Kaya hasn't been found yet. Please keep searching for her. You got it. Oh, this person wants to talk to me too. Every I'm just so popular today. Uh, that director. I can't believe I let him drag me out here. We'll film a new project, he says. It'll be amazing, he says. Please, we get here and the spaceship crashes? Seriously? I mean, sure, it'll make for great television. Ugh, but still, even if I wanted to start shooting footage, I don't have a crew. Because my crew is still stranded. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I went off script there for a second. Wait, aren't you the one who rescued me? Okay, well, I'm Muggs. You might know me from television. I'm a reporter. Oh, hey, I just had a brilliant idea. Since you have a knack for rescuing folks, could you look for the rest of my TV crew too? You'll be handsomely rewarded. Okay, I'm gonna rescue them anyway. All these people just keep giving me missions of things that I was already gonna do. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. You're welcome. Just rolling in uh, in uh, raw materials now. But you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming. You gotta keep blooming. Thank you for your help. I feel like an empty place inside me is being filled up. Ah, that was so fascinating. You must let me know if you find any more new snarly snugglers out there. Sure. All another thing that'll just kind of happen as I as I go. Is this guy we need to talk to me again? Or is he good for now? He's good for now. All right. Uh, I think we're nearing the end of the of my stream for the day. But let's take a look at the lab. Power whistle. The whistles range by a lot. Ooh, I do like that. Treasure gauge plus. The total amount and locations? Gunkbusters. 
Sticky Paths Sniff Saver. A lot of these are useful, not gonna lie. I like the Power Whistle. And I like the Treasure Gate Plus. I'm gonna go with those two for now. I really am not using consumables like at all. <laughs> And then let's go get some training. Unless you have one that'll get him to move faster. Doggy paddle, kind of. But we're gonna... Hmm, let me do... I'd have to level it up twice because I'm wondering if I fully level this up if he'll get the ability to go along the bottom of the water with me. Hmm. Let's get Mega Rush. <laughs> we'll get the, the next level of Doggy Paddle as well. When Ochi dives, he can transport treasure from below the surface and bite underwater creatures, too. Oh, too bad I didn't have, don't have enough to get that one, too. Keep up the good work. Okay. I think that'll do it for the... For the day. 